Hello everyone, in this video we're going to cover the steps to uninstall the Windows 10 version 20H2 to roll back to the previous installation. Similar to the November 2019 update rollout, the upgrade process to a new feature update will be different depending on the version of Windows 10 already running on your computer. So this means that the rollback process will also be different depending on how you install that feature update. This particular video will show you the steps to remove version 20H2 if you perform an in-place upgrade using the media creation tool or the update assistant tool. So if the new version has problems or you're not ready to remove it, open the settings app and then on update and security, click on recovery and then click the get started button. If you don't see this option, you can roll back. However, you can perform a clean installation with the files from the older release to go back to the previous version. Select a reason why you're rolling back, click next, click not thanks. Also, make sure to read that rolling back to a previous version, you will need to reinstall some apps and you may lose some changes applied after you upgraded to this newest version and then click next. If the password is different from the one you had before, make sure to know the old password, otherwise you may lose access to your account. Then click next. And this is the last step. Once you click the go back to earlier bill, your computer will restart and the rollback process will begin. This process should not affect your files, but it's always a good idea to create a full backup of your computer and data in case something goes wrong. I don't need to remove the latest version of Windows 10 on this computer, so I'm gonna click the cancel button, but that's exactly what you need to do to uninstall version 20H2 to roll back to the previous installation. Please make sure to check the video notes for important information such as the release date of this new version of Windows 10 and much more. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.